friends and welcome to another episode of Tried and Tested. In today's episode, we are going to be trying out subscription boxes. Okay, so these are like mystery boxes that get delivered to you every month and they're filled with all these goodies and there's so many different types. Fashion, food, beauty, of course, and many, many more. So all you need to do is subscribe and then it's like getting a surprise gift every month except that you're paying for it lab. This is Japan Crate, which is a subscription box for Japanese snacks. And it comes in three different sizes, 12, 25, and 30 USD sizes. We got the 25 USD one, which has 10 snacks, including a DIY kit. And great news, this free shipping worldwide. Snack time! Da -da -da. So it comes with this, which tells you what is inside the box. And I love this kind of thing because everything's Japanese. And I won't know why they chose it or what it's doing in there or maybe what it can do. So let's have a look. What I'm noticing now, right? They say 10 items. Here we have one, two, three, four, five. It's kind of pushing it on the 10 item thing, right? I mean. <laughs> What? I've been to a supermarket. I know these come in packs. So they tear them apart and just... <laughs> this is 25 USD. That's not cheap, you know? <laughs> oh, this is fun. Without this little pamphlet here, I would have not guessed what this was. You're supposed to put it in your mouth and it will change colour according to your luck for the day. Red is for a super awesome lucky day, yellow is for a good luck day, and green is a basic luck day. But hey, any luck is better than no luck, right? Wow, look at that. It does not even look edible. It looks like a marble. Oh, it smells very grapey. Mm, it's yummy. I think I can taste it. It's lemon. Which means it's good luck. Eh, this is so much fun! Because as you're going, it's kind of like, which one will I get? Which one will I get? And the flavour actually really changes. So it's grape at first, but once you get through all that grape, I could really taste the lemon flavour. Only thing is, not to be like stupid about this, but it's a very big sweet. So it's like quite tiring to eat because it's really like, her mood. Anyway, you know what I mean? So anyway, it's a lot of fun. I've got good luck for today. Yay! Okay, I want to try one more thing from this box. So definitely the DIY banana chocolate! Alright! I'm not really making anything. I'm assembling. You know what? I'm not complaining. Given my history with popping cooking, I'm actually a little bit relieved, I must say. <laughs> Yeah, simple lah. I don't have any instructions for this. I'll just put the chocolate in one side and then the sprinkles on the other side and just coat all of it in chocolate. Yes. And dip it in the sprinkles. Oh, <laughs> It's a bit like a diseased banana now. I'm not sure about these colours for sprinkles, man. It really doesn't look very appetising. <laughs> So this banana, it's kind of like the dense foamy gummies. They look like marshmallows, but they're not. It's the standard artificial banana flavour, you know what I mean? The chocolate is pretty good, and the sprinkles are very sugary. I also found out that Okinawa is famous for their especially tasty bananas. When I first opened the box, it was like, ooh, that's fun. And as I explored it more, I was kind of like a bit disappointed because I thought, what? This counts as one, you know, but as you go through the box, you realise it's actually more than just a box of snacks because you get so much information with it. If I had seen that Lucky Candy in a supermarket, there's no way I would have known that it was supposed to like be a fortune-telling candy. They put so much effort into this. You know, it's like there's so much information here. They've made a pamphlet, you know exactly what's in it. They teach you Japanese. I think it's like a lot of thought has gone into this box. So I really appreciate the way they put everything together. It's expensive if you just look at the snacks, but I also feel that it's more than just the snack box. So I appreciate it all together and I have a give this an 8 out of 10. The only thing is I wish that they would at least include like maybe two because then you can share it with a friend because part of like eating snacks and discovering things together is to share it with people right and some of these candies like I can't 
What am I gonna do? Tell my luck and then pass it to the next person? I can't do that, right? This is No Make No Life and it's a Japanese subscription box for Japanese beauty products. So every month, you get a mix of five to seven full-size beauty products from these categories. It can be from your hair, body, bath, tools, makeup and skin. So there's only one choice for this box which is $29.99 US and it includes free shipping worldwide. Alright. Yay, pamphlet! What is this? I think this is like a previous box. Man, I wish we got that. Oh, that would've been fun. <laughs> that thing looks like a duck. And like this, this is so cute. It's a cat face mask. This is like the Sakura edition because I think it was Sakura season. So all these products are Sakura themed. So fun! We have this which is an argan oil foot mask. Beauty stone nails. And then you also have Sakura soap. Oh, isn't that pretty? Disney Sakura Aromatica. And this is body cream. It's supposed to smell like a fresh Japanese spring breeze. It's got olive oil and shea butter. And it's supposed to make you feel like royalty. Like a Disney princess. And then we've also got a bubble bath, of course, because Disney princesses gotta soak. Ooh, let's see how they smell. Okay, so this is a very flowery cream. It's a weird ass texture. It kind of feels a bit like a cross between a cream and you see what I mean? It's a bit spongy and bouncy. It's almost like putty. It does kind of like melt into the skin. Okay, it smells so good. Once you like spread it out, like, okay, I was having serious doubts when it was in the tub because the smell was just so floral and overpowering. But now, it is very luxurious. It's not as light as a water gel. But it's not like the super heavy, thick kind of cream either. It's kind of like somewhere in the middle. Okay, I was not expecting that. It totally absorbs and it's like my skin feels so light and smooth now. Whoa! I'm so okay, okay. I'm really, really impressed by this. I can't even feel the cream at all. Oh, I'm loving this. Would never have picked it up. Alright, now let's smell this bubble bath. Actually, I think this just smells like soap. And I think like incredible about this. Then we also have the Japanese Art Sakura Face Mask. They say that the design is a traditional ukiyo-e art style. This face mask contains real sakura essence. So I'm very interested to know whether the mask inside is really like the design of the packaging. Let's see. Noli! Oh, it's just a regular mask. Okay. This smells so good. Like, it smells so fresh. It would be really cool if this mask had the design of the packaging on it. Then you can take a picture like the cat mask. Like, so FOMO now. I also want cat mask. <laughs> Well, five to seven full-size beauty products for this price, I think it's actually not too bad because once you factor in the shipping cost and the curating and all that, I get it. Because like these things, they weigh a lot. So the shipping on this is not cheap, especially like all around the world. And I do like that you can learn about the products here because you know, you walk into those Japanese like beauty shops, right? It's so overwhelming. It's just so much stuff and everything is in Japanese. I guess I would give it an 8 out of 10 because in terms of, I think, like value, curation and all that, I think it's really good. This is a fashion subscription box that is customized according to your style. So apart from finding out things like your measurements, your sizes, they ask things like what is your colour preference? What is your fashion mood? Who are your fashion icons? I mean, I kind of like a whole bunch of things, but because it was my first time, I thought, okay, like, I tried with the safe ones. <laughs> so I went with black, white and abstract. For fashion mood, I went like basic street chic and then for fashion icon, I don't have like a particular one whose style I kind of follow all the time. I kind of like like different people for different reasons, so I just kind of left it empty. So you can choose different price options, but the one that I got was $150 worth of stuff for $95. Let's see. Ooh In the box, they have a dress, a top, a skirt, a bag, accessories, as well as a $5 gift card. But I was told that the stylist replaced my bag with a swimsuit. I don't really swim. <laughs> but let's see what I got. Okay, accessories. You can either wear it like this with the pearl or alone as a stud. What on earth is this? Oh, this is the swimming costume. 
This is what replaced the bag. They gave me a swimsuit. Now, actually, I really don't swim. But this is, uh, I guess, like, if I had to be by a pool, I might give this a shot. Well, this is more of like a statement swimsuit. It's like, you know, you might wear it to, I don't know, take a photo at a friend's beach wedding or... I mean, it's not really like a... It's not a lap kind of swimsuit. It's not like a, you know, do laps. Just... Like, you know... Can you imagine it's just swimming? It's just like... You know, yeah. This is my dress. This is not abstract. This is floral. And I do feel like those two things are actually quite different even though, like, it falls under the category of print. In terms of style, this is not super, super me, but if it were lying around, I might put it on. One day when I'm feeling particularly girly. <laughs> so irritating. The fit is pretty good, actually. Only thing is, like, the back here doesn't fit me so well. Lengthwise, I would have maybe preferred either longer or, like, a bit higher. Oh, I see something with zips. This is a nice jacket. It's like full suede, but it feels really nice and soft. Now this is an M. It fits, but I think for myself, I would prefer an L. But other than that, it's a really comfortable jacket and I think it looks really cute. Uh, yeah, I would totally wear something like this. So the quality of this jacket, I think for the price point, is pretty good. Oh, these pants are cute. Ooh, it's high-waisted. And it comes with a belt. So cute, so into this. This is totally something that I would wear. In fact, I have so many pants like these. Okay, I'm totally digging these pants. I love the cut, I love the, the feel. It's totally up my alley. The only thing is, this is a medium. I might want to try a small, but small might be too small. I have a feeling I'm right in between both sizes. Because you see, this fits, but also look at this. This part here, like if it's just like this, that would be the perfect cut. But right now, it's a bit baggy. But overall though, I am really liking them. So, um, oh man, if they fit, I would get like all the colours that they have. <laughs> the value in this is actually pretty good because you get four items of clothing, one accessory for $95. Even if I don't count the accessories, maybe I say I take 95, I divide it by four. It's still like 20 something dollars for one item, which is a uh, pretty good deal, I think. You also get the added benefit of someone helping you choose things. So that's a great way to experiment and try stuff. But then I feel that it's very hard to exchange things. So I was going through like the return policy for the subscription box and there seemed to be a lot of fine print and depending on what kind of shopper you are, that may or may not be up your alley. Okay, so the great thing about this though is that if you always like me, end up buying like five colours of the same thing. This is a great way to kind of push you a little bit to try new things with uh, sort of like a friend who is trying to understand your style. So you end up with more variety in your closet. Okay, one more thing. I couldn't find my gift card, which I thought was supposed to be included in the box. Was it replaced with this notebook? Or they forgot? I'm not sure. For me, I would give this maybe like a six because of all of these things, only the pants I really like and even then the fit was kind of like alright. Because the sizing and fit didn't quite work out for me, but if it does for you, then it could be higher. And that's it for this episode! There are so many subscription boxes that we wanted to try, but they just don't ship to Singapore, which is the thing. <laughs> Guys, fix this! International shipping, okay? For more information on the products, like where to get them from, how much they cost, go to the Tried and Tested Facebook page or you can check out the links in the description box down below. If you've already subscribed to the channel, you need to... There's my box. Over here. Hit that bell so you'll be notified every time we put a video out onto YouTube. Or you can just... This box here. Get the Click Network app so that you can watch the videos before they go onto YouTube. Alright, till next time. Go be beautiful!